Então, o compêndio da Lexia Divina é uma forma simples, prática e acessível de ter na tua mão o resumo de toda a oração de um ano litúrgico. Com esse livro, você não vai perder a tua oração. Você vai registrar dia após dia o conteúdo da tua oração. E a oração vai se transformar em vida, vai se transformar em decisões, em práticas concretas. Essa palavra é tão poderosa que um só versículo pode mudar toda a sua vida. E o que é a Lexio Divina? A Lexio Divina, como o nome diz, é uma leitura orante da Palavra de Deus. Cinco passos, muito simples, e a leitura é algo objetivo. O que é que esses textos falam hoje, concretamente? Lê com calma, lê tranquilamente, lê várias vezes essas três leituras. Depois da leitura você tem a meditação. Então a meditação é um movimento de entrar dentro de nós, onde Deus habita, no mais profundo de nós, e escutar o que é que Deus quer me falar a mim, naquilo que eu vivo hoje, com essa palavra. A graça da oração. Se Deus me fala, eu respondo. Uma pessoa que ama, responde à pessoa amada. E o quarto passo, a contemplação, que transpassa o teu coração e, e, e torna o teu dia todo diferente. E essa palavra deve ficar ruminando no nosso coração ao longo de todo o dia. E último passo, a resolução. Qual a decisão que eu tomo face a essa palavra? Na escuta do verbo. Hi everyone, welcome to this Sorry Day, June 5th, when we come together to pray sacred scripture. I'm Sister Mary Elizabeth from Seas of the Word community, and I want to welcome you all that are joining us for Lexia Divina today. The readings of this Sorry Day will be continuing the book of Tobit, today's chapter 12, verses 1 to 20. Responsorial Psalm is, is not a psalm today, it's a canticle, it's also from Tobit, but chapter 13, and the Gospel from St. Mark, chapter 12, verses 38 to 44. Let's start the reading of the Word of God for today. After the angel Raphael brought Tobias home, Tobit said to his son, My child, see to paying the wages of the man who went with you, to give him a bonus as well. Tobias replied, Father, How much shall I pay him? It would do no harm to give him half of the possessions brought back with me, for he has led me back to you safely. He cured my wife, he brought the money back with me, and he healed you. How much extra shall I give him as a bonus? Tobit said, He deserves my, sh my child to receive half of vow that he brought back. So to Tobias called Raphael and said, Take for your wages half of all that you brought back, and farewell. Then Raphael called the two of them privately, and said to them, Bless God, and acknowledge him in the presence of all the living for the good things he has done for you. Bless and sing praise to his name. With fitting honor, declare to all people the deeds of God. Do not be slow to acknowledge him. It is good to conceal the secret of a king, but to acknowledge and reveal the works of God, and with fitting honor to acknowledge him. Do good and do good and evil will not overtake you. Prayer with fasting is good, but better than both is almost giving with righteousness. A little with righteousness is better than wealth with wrongdoing. For almost giving saves from death and purges away every sin. Those who give alms will enjoy a full life, but those who commit sin and do wrong are their own worst enemy. I will, not declare the whole, I will now declare the whole truth to you and will conceal nothing from you. Already I have declared it to you when I said, It is good to conceal the secret of a king but to reveal with due honor the works of God. So now, when you and Sarah prayed, 
It was I who brought and read the record of your prayer before the God, before the glory of the Lord. And likewise, whenever you would bury the dead, and that time when you did not hesitate to get up and leave your dinner to go and bury the dead, I was sent to you to test you. And at the same time, God sent me to heal you and Sarah, your daughter-in-law. I am Raphael, one of the seven angels who stand ready and enter before the glory of the Lord. The two of them were shaken. They fell face down, for they were afraid. But he said to them, Do not be afraid. Peace be with you. Bless God forevermore. As for me, when I was with you, I was not acting on my own will, but by the will of God. Bless him each and every day. Sing him praises. Although you were watching me, I really did not eat or drink anything. But, you, but what you saw was a vision. So now get up from the ground and acknowledge God. See, I am ascending to him who sent me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So today in this in the chapter 12 verse 1 to 20 we see that the angel Raphael reveals whom he is. So he brought back Tobias from this mission for this adventure that they went. Raphael cured Sarah, set her free from this demon that was after her killing her husband. He opened the eyes of Tobit. He set him free from his blindness. And when they wanted to pay this kind servant, the servant who went with Tobias, Raphael revealed himself and he says, I am one of the seven angels that stands ready before the presence of the Lord. So he revealed his identity. But before that, he praises God and he says, there are so many beautiful lines that we won't have time to go over together through each one of them but it's beautiful and he says it is good to conceal the secret of a king but to acknowledge and reveal the works of God and with fitting honor to acknowledge him do good and evil will not overtake you so it's good to keep a secret to conceal a secret of a king but it's way more splendorous to reveal it. And that was the grace that Raphael had here, was to reveal God's plan, to reveal God's presence in the life of Tobias and Tobit. So we see here Raphael revealing his identity and telling Tobias and, and Tobit to keep praising the Lord, bless him each and every day saying this miracle that you just received, this grace that you just received, don't forget it. Bless him every single day. And that's one thing, a very small thing that we can learn from this beautiful reading. And I encourage you to read over and over again and to really see what God wants to tell you through this passage. So many beautiful sentences here. But one little thing is bless him each and every day. Let us bless the Lord, praise the Lord, be thankful to Him every single day. Let's start our prayers like we've been seeing these past days with a heart full of joy and gratitude. Let's start, let's start our days in this heart of thanksgiving. Already praising the Lord for what He will give us. So get up now from the ground and acknowledge God. Get up from where you are right now, from your prostrations. What are the situations that you feel that you have no strength or that you are full of fear? Get up now and praise God. Get up now and see and recognize the beauty that the Lord God has given you throughout your life and that you are called to give Him thanks every single day. Responsorio today from Tobit, chapter 13 says, 
God afflicts and he shows mercy. He leads down to Hades in the lowest region of the earth, and he brings up from the great abyss, and there is nothing that can escape his hand. If you turn to him with all your heart and with all your soul to do what is true before him, then he will turn to you and will no longer hide his face from you. So now see what he has done for you. Acknowledge him at the top of your voice. Bless the Lord of righteousness and exalt the King of the ages. In the land of my exile, I acknowledge him and show his power and majesty to a nation of sinners. Turn back, you sinners, and do what is right before him. Perhaps he may look with favor upon you and show you mercy. So the responsorial today is the next chapter. First reading, chapter 12. Responsorial today, Psalm 13. We see the answer that brought in their heart. It is Tobit here, but for sure it's the heart of Tobias too. So we see that after Raphael revealing whom he is, they both praise God, saying that God afflicts and he shows mercy. God afflicts and then he shows mercy. Turn back to him. Do the right before him. Tobit here is making memory of all the right things that he has done in his life. Bearing the dead, helping those who most needed of his help. So Tobit here is making memory of all the good actions that he did and that the Lord did not forget. The Lord did not forget anything we do out of love for him. But we need to do things out of love for him. Not out of pride. Not because we know that we can do it, but out of love. Gospel from St. Mark, chapter 12, verses 38 to 44. When Jesus was teaching the crowd, he said, Be aware of the scribes who like to walk around in long robes and to be greeted with respect in the marketplaces and to have the best seats in the synagogues and places of honor at banquets. They devour, devour widows' houses and for the sake of appearance say long prayers. They will receive the great condemnation. Jesus sat down opposite the, treasur the treasury and acknowledged the crowd, putting money into the treasury. Many rich people put in the large sums, put in large sums. A poor widow came and put in two small copper coin, coin, coins, which are worthy, worth a penny. Then he called the disciples and said to them, Truly I tell you, this poor widow has put in more than all those who are contributing in the treasury. For all of them had contributed out of their abundance, but she, out of her poverty, has put in everything she had, all she had to live on. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus continues his teachings here and continues to talk about the scribes. So he, he will say how the scribes want to live by appearance. They live by appearance for what they wear, what they say, how they will look like before people. And that's wrong. We should not live in appearance. Our faith should not be for others to see, but our faith is to bring us salvation, to bring us close to God. And as he was in the temple, so he sat down opposite to the treasury. So he was watching people who were coming in and out. And he saw many rich people putting there what they had to spare. But came this poor widow that she put everything she had to live on. Why? Because she trusted God. She trusted that if she gave everything she had, the Lord would bless her. The Lord would never let anything be missing in her life. That's the faith that we should have. It's not to give great amounts for others to see. Do not do great things for others to see. But to do small things and meaningful things for our Lord to see. 
our Lord was the only one who knew that she was putting everything what she had to live. No one else knew it. Our Lord knew. So let us do things out of love. Let it, she, did, she did what she could to show the Lord that she loved him. So let us do what we, we can to show him that we love him. And may the Lord bless us in the meditation of his sacred scripture. To the example of Tobit, Tobias, and to the protection of the Archangel Raphael. The Lord watches over us. He takes care of us. And we only need to love him. Amen.